when Abel Sanchez was asked who wins between Keith Thurman and Errol Spence, he said, Thurman has no chance. Let's talk. Push the weight in the flex. Flex. The live is one in the six. Hey. If it's the runner boy, you need no question. Yo. You would run a motherfucker high stepping. Yo. Hey, you never had a big enough weapon. Hey. Motherfucker hey. never learned your lesson. Right. Hey. I'm an 88 pack nigga. Boo. I'm an 88 pack nigga. Boo. Oh, 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 I mean, they walk a drink, blood things out. Full moon, motherfucker. Change like a hoe. Right. I'm just a nigga from the hood trying to stack a little cheddar for the money. Drew Titan Bronze on deck. Shout out to the mighty LDBC. Um, they uh, Abel Sanchez. You know, I'm not too big on this guy. You know, I guess he's a you know well respected. Not I guess he is a well respected trainer in the industry. You know, he has a track record or whatever. But um, if you follow me, you know what my problem is with Abel Sanchez. You know, Mister. Uh, black fighters fighting style that's not appeasing to the fans and they don't sell and i just find it um interesting that he was asked about this matchup between arrow the truth spence and keith one time thurman both are black fighters i don't care how straight keith thurman's hair is um he's a black man and uh obviously ever spence is a black man and they went to him and uh based off of his uh prior statements this must really bother him that um He's asked about an opinion uh, about a, a major player in the game of boxing and uh, someone who was expected to be a major player but didn't live up to the expectations. So I don't know if this hurts him or not. I'm going to assume it. I don't know if it hurts him or not, but I'm going to assume it does. You know, it must pain you because, you know, I mean, it would have been acting about, asking about Gennady Golovkin, but um, <laughs> how you feel about that, Abel? But that's for another video for another time if anyone cares. Um, so he was asked about Errol Spence versus um, this guy, Keith Thurman. One time? Remember one time when it was one time? Keith Thurman? Um, and when he was asked who wins between Keith Thurman and Errol the Truth Spence, he simply said Spence beats him. Um, he said uh, Thurman uh, had a great beginning in his career, but for some reason he said Keith didn't live up to his expectations. And he thinks Spence uh, beats him. He said he actually thinks he stops him. Uh, I agree. I agree. Uh, I think Keith Thurman was on fire once upon a time. You remember? Um, I remember going back to as far as 2014. You know, 2014. Uh, I forgot exactly when I started noticing him. I, I think it was... Was it Soto Carras? Is that 2014 or 2013? I forgot. But um, it was some time ago. He was turning heads. You know, he was calling out Floyd Mayweather. Talking about, yeah, 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 we're going to burn money. We're going to burn money. I said, all right, this, this kid is confident, man. He's somebody going to burn money because Floyd was money Mayweather. And I said, all right, okay. Talk your ish. Okay. He fought uh, Julio Diaz. Uh, I forget whether Bundu was before or after... Lewis Kala, I think he fought Bundu. And I think before Colazzo may have been Robert the Ghost Guerrero. Pretty good fight. He dropped Guerrero. I forget which round. Um, Louis Colazzo, my New York fan. Um, he stopped Colazzo, but we noticed something in that Colazzo fight. What did we notice? Colazzo almost dropped him with what? A body shot. And I said, oh, maybe that was just a good shot. But it seems that that's been his kryptonite. And, you know, when he's in shape, uh, he has a 12-pack, man. His abs look really good. But I guess he can't take it to the body. Manny Pacquiao, I heard him with a body shot. Um, I heard he had an injury, a rib injury going into that fight. But it's irrelevant. He's weak to the body, which is why everyone says, Yo, you know, Errol, Errol, Errol's going to – beat the nonsense out of him if you don't get the uki he's gonna stop him with a body shot I, and abel sanchez said he he said uh i don't remember exactly the exact quote but he said spence is a better finisher than thurman you know and uh when he gets big fights he you know when keith gets those big fights he doesn't live up to the expectations i found that very interesting because is that somewhat true 
He fought Sean Porter, and that was a hell of a fight. That was a hell of a fight. It was high action. Uh, he fought Danny Garcia. Um, you know, I believe he gave Danny Garcia his first L. You know, uh, but I believe that was Danny Garcia's first stint at 147. Uh, Y'all can correct me if I'm wrong. It's okay. But um, Danny showed up to fight. Uh, he, he didn't get the nod. It was all good. He fought Jose Zito Lopez, which was... Uh, <laughs> Uh, he dropped Lopez, but uh, look, you saw some things in that Jose Zito Lopez fight. It made you scratch your head a little bit. Now, between the Danny Garcia fight and the Jose Zito Lopez fight, it was about a year. He was a year off. And I do recall Errol calling him out. Through all of this, spot, mind you, Errol been calling this guy out. And um, you remember Keith Thurman was talking about, hey, man, I right, will have to fight in two, three years and some odd stuff. And I'm like, what is he talking about? Then he was having car accidents and his wrist was hurting and his shoulder was hurting. And they dangled that Manny Pacquiao fight in front of him. And he was up and at him. So I need surgery before I fight Errol. But when Manny was on the table, he jumped on it. Well, eventually, 2019, he fights Manny Pacquiao and y'all saw what happened. He got dropped in the first round. And look, if you haven't seen the fight, go watch it. It's on YouTube somewhere. Um, but if you, if you let them tell it, don't watch highlights because it's going to make Manny look like he dominated the whole fight. Manny DePacquiao did not dominate the whole fight. Thurman, after getting dropped in the first round, he had a lot of spots where he did shine. And as a matter of fact, the fight was close until I forget which round, but Manny hit him with a body shot. And Keith literally turned his back and it looked like he was running. Like he with his back turned because he hurt him. That's why people were saying, hey, man, I think um, it was rumored that he had a rib injury. I don't know. But there was times where he was walking uh, uh, Manny down. The fight was closer than, you know, it, it was a it was a loss. Uh, but look, I'm not saying Keith Thurman is trash. Um, as a matter of fact, Manny Pacquiao. One of the one of the judges had it had Keith winning, but I think that was round ten or eleven. Keith was hurt bad. You could have made the case it probably could have been a ten eight round, but uh, whatever. So after the Manny Pacquiao fight, he comes back. Now he fought Manny Pacquiao in twenty nineteen. Keith didn't fight Mario Barrios until twenty twenty two. Man, okay, he then came back with a haircut and everything, and. He didn't look dominant in Mario Barrios. Mario Barrios, <laughs> prior, to, uh, uh, prior to Keith Thurman, he got knocked out by Tank Davis, man. Prior to fighting Keith Thurman, he was stopped by Javante Davis. Okay? You understand what I'm saying? So, Mario lost the fight unanimous decision. But everyone at this point was looking at Keith like, yo, is this guy still a major player? Tank just, he obliterated Barrios late in the fight. And Mario was in this fight. As a matter of fact, I do recall Keith doing an interview. Mario hurt him to the body. And Keith said, hey, man, if um, he did this, this, and that, he might have dropped me. So now at this point, 2022, um, you know, these sanctioning bodies are ordering things, trying to make things happen. And now they're talking about Keith versus uh, 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 Errol. Errol's game, he, he's gotten more dangerous with each, with, with each passing fight. He's breaking eye sockets and all kinds of stuff. What is Keith doing? He had a lot of steam behind him from 2014. When we wanted that fight back then, between him and Errol, he wasn't hearing it. And we're starting to see why. But, you know, look, man, I ain't going to say he's a punk. But I ain't going to say he's ducking smoke. Uh, but I'm going to agree with, uh, you know, nonsense aside and how I personally feel about Abel Sanchez. I'm going to agree with Abel on this. You know... 
Keith was once upon a time, one time. Keith once upon a time, Thurman. I just made that up, y'all. Keith once upon a time, Thurman. So, all right, man. Good luck in that arrow fight if they even make it. And uh, <laughs> we'll see what happens. But I'm going to agree with Abel Sanchez on this. I don't think he has a chance against Arrow. You got to make me a believer. Once upon a time. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Bronx on deck. Move!